This is Amos chapter 9, verse 9. Right. For lo, I will command and I will shift the house of Israel. Meaning, shake it up, shake it up, hit Israel with this word, shake it up, shake Israel up to where the elect is going to come up out of uh, uh, out of them two thirds, and the two thirds is going to be left out there, man. Going off their own counsel, man. Go ahead. Amongst all nations, right. like a corn is shifted mm -hmm. in a in a seed, uh -huh. yet shall know the least grain fall upon the earth. So the most high in his son is going to grab his elect, man. None of his elect is going to get touched, man, out of Negro, Latino, and Native America. Go ahead. All the sinners of my people shall die by the sword. So it's saying, the scriptures is saying, all the sinners of my people shall die by the sword. Whether it be thermonuclear destruction or it be martial law, man. Law. Yeah, the where it's either gonna be martial law or it's gonna be uh, thermonuclear, thermonuclear destruction, man. He, he, he in there, ain't he? <laughs> yeah, he's trying to dodge. Yeah, you either gonna get caught up in that right there, martial law, okay, or thermonuclear destruction, man, because the sword. The sword is a uh, so-called white man. The Most High gonna use so-called white man on the left hand side, and that's the sword of the Most High, man, on the left hand side, man. So you either gonna bow down to this and get destroyed, or you gonna get hit with thermonuclear destruction, man, and get destroyed, man. Go ahead. We say the evil shall not overtake nor prevent us. Yeah, like it ain't gonna come, like it ain't gonna happen to you. In other words. Like you ain't gonna get caught up in it. Yeah, you're gonna get caught up in it, man. Thus say the King James Bible, man. You're gonna get caught up in it. Okay? That's what it's gonna be. Go ahead, Doc. Verse 11. In that day will I rise up the tabernacle of David that is fallen and close up the breaches thereof. Right. So that's gonna happen, man. So start back up about that sword again. Hey, uh, give me some uh give me some uh 17 and uh, 13. This is Amos chapter 9, verse 10. All the sinners of my people shall die by the sword, which say, the evil shall not overtake, no prevent us. Right. And give me uh, Genesis. Uh, that sword to prove, to prove that it's so, this is so called white man. Give me uh, Genesis 27 and uh, 40. And give me. Uh, uh, Psalms uh, 17 and uh, where you at? Yeah, 13. Yeah. Okay. Listen, read what you got out. Okay. This is Psalms chapter 17, verse 13. Arise, O Yahweh, disappoint him, cast him down, deliver my soul from the wicked, which is thy sword. From the wicked, which is thy sword. Okay, so that's the so-called white man. Okay, that's the sword he's talking about. When you read uh, 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 Amos nine, that's the sword he's talking about. And how do you prove that uh, 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 the wicked is the so-called white man? Read that again. Read that again. I... This is Psalms chapter seventeen, verse thirteen. Arise, O Yahweh, disappoint him, cast him down. Deliver my soul from the wicked, which is thy sword. Yeah, now let's prove who the wicked is. Give me uh, Malachi. It goes straight to the point. Uh, yeah, we finna read about Esau, how, how, what his blessing was, okay? And we proving who the wicked is, okay? Malachi goes straight to the point about the border of wickedness, okay? Got it? Yep. Okay, this is Malachi chapter 1, verse 4. Whereas Edom said, We are impoverished, but we will return and build the desolate places. So this place was desolate, okay? And by us, the Negro Latinos in Native America being in slavery, this place was built up, man. Okay? Esau came back into power, and this place was built up 
of blood, sweat, and tears of our ancestors, Negro, Latinos, and Native Americans. Go ahead. Thus said Yahweh of hosts, right. they shall build, but I will throw down. The Most High gonna throw this place down. So you see Esau building everywhere, the Most High gonna throw it down in an hour, man. It's gonna take one hour to wipe out America, man. Go ahead, bro. And they shall call them the border of wickedness. So wherever these Edomites dwell at, and whatever they live in it, wherever they govern it, that's the border of wickedness, man. So go back over there, just to prove that so-called white man is the wicked according to the Bible. So read that again and then go back over to Psalm uh, 17 and uh, 13. And then we're gonna go to Genesis uh, 27. Read that again. Uh. Malachi chapter one and, and four. Whereas Edom said, we are impoverished. Edom is a so-called white man. That's their biblical nationality. Go ahead. But we will return and build the desolate places. Right, go ahead. Thus said Yahweh of hosts, they shall build, but I will throw down. The Most High gonna throw this place down. Go ahead. And they shall call them the border of wickedness. That's them, Esau. They're the wicked. So go back over to Psalm 17 and 13. So it's nothing this so-called white man can do to repent, man. And you got two thirds of our Two-thirds of the Negro Latinos in Native America want to run up behind the so-called white man, Esau, the devil that the Bible speaks of, and think the Heavenly Father loves everybody. They're out of their mind. Go ahead. Okay, this is Psalm chapter 17, verse 13. Ari arise, O Yahweh, disappoint him, cast him down, deliver my soul from the wicked. So we know who the wicked is. We just met, read Malachi 1 and 4, right? So it proves who the wicked is, right? And we read right there in Psalm uh, 17 and 13 about uh, uh, the wicked and who the wicked is. So he said, which is thy sword? So the Most High is using Esau on the left-hand side as a sword. Now, let's get his blessing to prove again that that's Esau without a shadow of a doubt, man, that he used that the Most High used the so-called white man as a weapon, man, against the Negro, Latinos, and Native Americans because they rebellious. Okay? Read what you got, huh? In Genesis 27 and uh, 48. Yeah, it started 38. Uh, this is Genesis chapter 27, verse 38. Right. And Esau said unto his father, Has thou put one blessing? Has, has thou but one blessing, my father? Bless yeah. me. Even me also. So this is dealing with uh, the blessing when uh, Jacob and uh, Esau got their blessing. Okay. Now let's find out what the blessing of the so-called white man is. Okay. Let's see what Isaac gave him. Go ahead. Oh my father! And Esau lifted up his voice and wept. Right. And Isaac his father answered and said unto him, Behold. Thy dwelling shall be the fatness of the earth. So wherever the natural resources is, Esau got it today. Okay? That's why, that's why these elites, these elites right here, they set up wars. That's why these elites right here set up wars and go around and use the military and rape, rob, and murder the whole earth. Okay? That's why they do that. And America is a spearhead, okay? the military power for these elites, man. So that's why America goes around and rape, rob, and murder the whole earth, man. That's why they over there in the Middle East, man. Cause they after the resources, man. But what's gonna happen is, it's gonna end up in the time of the war, man. Okay, that's what's gonna happen, man. Okay, go ahead, bro. And of the dew of heaven from above. So Esau got all the natural resources. He controls, man. Even he got, chosen people that the Bible speaks of, which are the two biblical Hebrew Israelites, which are the Negro Latinos and Native Americans. That's a resource, man. We are we are the greatest resource the so-called white man got, man. Up under him, man. The most high gonna destroy this place, man. Gonna destroy these so-called white men. Go ahead, bro. Verse 40. And by thy sword shalt thou live. So everything that the so-called white man got, he he used his weaponry to get it, man. He said, by the sword shall thou live, man. Okay? So that's his blessing, man. Go ahead, bro. And shall serve thy brother 
and it shall come to pass when thou shalt have the dominion that thou shalt break his yoke from off thy neck. So that happened in the ancient world, okay? And that happened during the dark ages. And it started with uh, during the, after the dark ages, which we were ruling over there in Europe, okay? Contrary to popular belief, we were ruling over there in Europe, but in, uh, what is it, 1492, when uh, these Edomites were let loose and they started coming into power, and Columbus came over here and with a sword and was destroying the indigenous people that was over, which are the biblical Israelites, okay? So they was coming back into power, man. And what were they doing? Killing off the, the indigenous people over here, the Israelites, with a sword, man. That's how they were living, man, okay? They live by the sword, man, and that's how they got everything. They rape, rob, and murder, man, with the sword, man. So that's the so-called white man blessing. So you got these Negro Latinos and Native Americans talking about they got AR-15, talking about they got Tommy guns in the neighborhood, talking about they got AKs in the neighborhood, going to try to fight this white man, this so-called white man, okay, with his, uh, with, uh, uh, with this weaponry. Nah, you can't do it like that, okay? Because that weaponry that you got, that's the blessing of the so-called white man, and you're gonna lose, man. The only person who can take down this so-called white man with his weaponry is the Heavenly Father Son. And you trying to fulfill, you trying to fulfill the Heavenly Father Son shoes by 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 uh doing it yourself, you're gonna die, man. Okay? That's a so-called white man blessing, man. It's a sword, man. So anyone, even Negro, Latino, the Native American, probably they gonna grab up on and go against the white man, so-called white man, they gonna get cut short, man. They gonna die, man. Okay? They gonna die, man. That's what's gonna happen. Let's we'll go back to uh, Genesis. Let's read that again. It's up the top. This is Genesis chapter 27, verse 38. Right. And Esau said unto his father, Has thou but one blessing? My father, bless me, even me also. So that's his blessing, man. That's his blessing, man. You finna get his blessing. Go ahead. Oh, my father. And Esau lifted up his voice and wept. Mm -hmm. And Isaac, his father, answered and said unto him, Behold, thy dwelling, thy dwelling shall be the fatness of the earth. and of the doom of heaven from above. Right, all the natural resources, man. You gonna have everything, man, go ahead. And by the sword shall thou live. So, like the scripture said, it was a blessing, but it was a curse at the same time, because the scripture say, he that live by the sword shall die by the sword. So, Isaac hit him with a blessing, but it was a curse at the same time, man, okay? So that's how the so-called white man, white man got everything. He raped, robbed, and murdered, and stole everything, and had us in slavery. So when you ride around and see these so-called white people in these big old houses, and you see them owning all these banks and these hospitals, the reason why they got it is because they're set up, okay, for a period of time, and they had us in slavery, and they took it from them. That's the reason why they got it, and that's the reason why you at the bottom. Okay, go ahead. And shall serve thy brother, and it shall come to pass when thou shalt have the dominion that thou shalt break his yoke from off thy neck. So that happened, man. Esau broke his yoke from my, uh, uh, when we had Esau in slavery, so-called white man in slavery, but they ain't gonna tell you that. They hide that history. Yeah, we had him in slavery, okay? So when we had them in slavery, they got loose, okay, in the ancient world, and then speeding up in 1492 into the future, Christopher Columbus, Christopher Columbus, that's his real name, came over here and using the sword to destroy the indigenous people that was in this land, which were the Israelites, man. Okay? So go back to Amos. Okay? He had, he had the indigenous people uh, uh, working in mines, man. He had the women uh, tilling the ground, tilling the ground, doing hardcore labor, tilling the ground, and they would, uh, the women would, uh, would have to uh, breastfeed their children and what and what so-called white man would do, he would uh, give them certain foods which would drop the milk and the baby would drop dead because she couldn't breastfeed, but she'll be out there still working in the fields, man, in the hot sun, man. That's so-called white man for you, the devil that the Bible speaks of. But they hide their history from you. Go ahead. Go ahead, bro. 
Amos. This is Amos chapter 9, verse 8. Behold, the eyes of Yahweh power are upon the sinful kingdom. Right. And I will destroy it from off the face of the earth. So the Mosai and his son gonna get rid of this place, man. He's gonna get rid of this place, man. These abominable acts that's played out on the earth, they gotta go, man. They gotta go, man. You cannot have a righteous kingdom and a wicked kingdom ruling at the same time. They gotta go. Go ahead, bro. Say, saving that I will not utterly destroy the house of Jacob, right. said Yahweh. Right. Go ahead. For lo, I will command and I will shift the shift. house. Shift. 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 Yeah. Uh, so like Amos chapter 9, verse 9. For lo, I will command and I will sift the house of Israel among all nations. Right. Like a corn is it's sift uh -huh. in a seed, uh -huh. yet shall not the least grain fall upon the earth. So what the Most High is doing, he's using this word to shake up Israel, and the elect is coming away from two-thirds of Israel, man, from the four corners of the globe, man. So that's what the Most High is doing, man, okay? And, and the elect is going to make it out, man, okay? So the Most High is causing the separation, okay? He get two-thirds up to their own council, and then the elect getting the council of the Most High, and they repent and coming back and said, nah, we can't live like that no more, okay? It's high time to wake up out of sleep. We can't live the way we used to live no more, okay? And when you come out of that, and you, and you, and you walk around, and you see how you used to live by examining these other people that's walking around, you say, man, yourself, man, I was doing number foolishness. You know, I was straight in a confused state. Because when you wake up to this truth, man, and you step back and look at these people that's still in the world, man, and, and, and recognize, look, that was once you, man. You don't want to go back to that, man. They're in a confused state, man. They don't know if they're coming or going, man. They don't know what's going on, man. Okay? Everybody's trying to hit nicks. Everybody's partying. And that's just what it is, man. And they doing whatever, however they feel, man. You know, they ain't thinking about the heavenly father and his son. And then you got, you got, you got a, a, a lot of these Negro Latinos and Native Americans just celebrated this so-called 4th of July, and America ain't never been independent, man. Okay? It ain't never been independent, man. And then you got records, which we read in that book, that book that you was reading in Philadelphia. Uh, we was reading in the book, and they were saying in Philadelphia about that independent, so-called Independence Day, that... You Negro Latino, you Negro couldn't even, uh, you Negro couldn't even celebrate. They ain't even want y'all around. Say y'all was no part of that. <laughs> These Negroes are stupid, man. They stupid, man. They ain't got it all there, man. They ain't got it all, they all, all the screws ain't there, man. They missing screws, man. All their marbles ain't there, man. They missing a lot of marbles, man. You know what I'm saying? They ain't all there, man. But yet you still, they got it together. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you still, they got it together. Saying they gonna be all right. All right, go ahead, bro. Verse 10, all the sinners of my people shall die by the sword. That's what it's gonna be. He, he told you and showed you what the sword is. That's what it's gonna be, okay? Most high gonna use the so-called white man and let you Negro Latinos and Native Americans have it. Okay? And rightfully so, but you wouldn't listen. Go ahead. Which say, the evil shall not overtake nor prevent us. Yeah, those bad times that's coming up on the earth. You saying you you saying uh 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 that's not gonna not gonna touch you, you saying that it's not gonna happen to you, or oh, it's not gonna happen in my time. All that. Alright. Matter of fact, look up that word prevent us and let's see. You brother want to grab it? Look up the word prevent us and let's see what that's going into. That's the thought process of Jake. They always think it's some type of madness to where they can escape. 
But the most high, just like I was saying, man, the most high, the most high gave you up to your counsel according to the scriptures, and the most high is getting tired of you going in circles, and he just gonna stop you going in circles by hitting you with a pistol. Yeah. You nigga Latino the Native American, been chasing your tail like a dog going in circles, but the most high might stop you from going in circles. He's about to hit you with a missile. Burn this whole place up, man. You tired of looking at you people just like we are.